Good morning, everybody. It's 10:36. Off to work. Uh, Got to stop and get gas first. I need to start getting gas the night before. Whenever I know I need gas, like last night, I knew that I was going to need gas. But I'm always thinking to myself, Nah, I just want to go home. I'm tired. I'll get gas in the morning. And then the morning comes, and I'm like, I don't really don't want to stop for gas. <sighs> so from now on, if I feel like I need to get gas at the end of the night, I'm just gonna do it. So yeah, I gotta force myself. Yeah. Anyways. It's Wednesday. I was gonna say Thursday. I wish it was Thursday. Uh, it's Wednesday, so today is technically my Friday. I'll be off the next three days. I'm excited about that. Uh, don't really have a whole lot planned yet for this weekend. I know Saturday uh, morning, actually, I'm going to be going out to Warner Brothers Studios for the uh, taping of the show Little Big Shots. Uh, if you haven't seen it, it's a show that is hosted by Steve Harvey. And it's like a bunch of kids that have these crazy talents and things like that. So I'm gonna head out to that. It's like, yeah, like I said, 10.45 a.m. is when they tape. So I'm gonna have to be out there extra early. Uh, usually you gotta be there like a couple hours before those things start taping. So that should be interesting uh, at Warner Brothers Studios. So that should be fun. Probably won't be able to film anything there. I won't be taking the camera in, but I will have my phone on me. But usually at Warner Brothers, when you go to a taping for anything there, they make you kind of check your phone at the door. Or they just like watch you turn it off. Like, I don't know, it's a whole thing. Uh, so I don't know if any filming's gonna be taking place, but I'll see what I can do. Um, but yeah. Anyway, oh, also wanted to point out, if you guys haven't watched it yet, watch the show Stranger Things on Netflix. Wow. I know it's kind of all the rage right now. I, you know, wasn't really hearing that much about it. And then last week, my last week of vacation, you know, I heard a couple things and I was like, well, well you know, I'll check it out. Uh, not really binge watching a whole lot of stuff lately. Uh, I haven't actually even been on Netflix for a while. So went on Netflix, uh, started watching it, watched one episode. I thought, well, you know, I'll check it out. And yeah, I ended up watching all eight episodes. <laughs> so it's really good it kind of takes me back to growing up honestly like the the entry the entry the intro with like the the title scene and all that totally something like stephen king-esque but like some from the 80s uh also the show kind of reminds me a little bit of like et or like mac and me or i don't know what was that one that just those one where the kids like built that like spacecraft what was that one like the explorers or something like that and then, let's see, it also kind of reminds me of like Monster Squad, things like that. I don't know, so I don't know, if you're into any of that, definitely check it out, so. Oh, speaking of binge, well, I'll tell you in just a second, I'm gonna get gas. So anyway, I was saying, uh, speaking of binge watching, uh, I guess like there is something I kind of binge watch, and it's actually a YouTube channel. So, uh, it's the Tim Tracker channel, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you're watching this and you haven't heard of it, do yourself a favor, go open that search bar up top and look for The Tim Tracker. Do yourself a favor. It's very good. Uh, it's uh, this guy Tim, his wife Jen, their two dogs, Armani and Bandit. Uh, and it's just great stuff. They live in Orlando, Florida, and it's just adventures around, in and around Orlando, you know, to the Disney parks and uh, Universal and things like that. Uh, but it's funny, uh, you know, I started watching them in like, I don't know, it was like November, December, I'm going to say like November of last year, and, uh, the, and, and that is pretty much the channel that inspired me to kind of start making videos, I don't know, I was looking for a hobby, needed something else to do outside of going to work and going home, uh, but I was going out to baseball games and doing fun things, going on adventures and whatnot, and I love food and going to different restaurants, so I was like, yeah, I'm going to start making videos, and then, you know, it ended up just sticking and having, been having a great time doing it. Um, I don't think I have a lot of people watching. Um, I only have like 10 subscribers, but I'm still having a great time. Uh, I appreciate all of you who have subscribed and who are coming along on this ride. And I encourage anybody else who's watching this to come along to hit that subscribe button. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, their videos are excellent. Um, you know, I don't watch a whole lot of TV just because there's not a whole lot out that I really enjoy that much, honestly. I mean, there's some shows that I watch, like stuff like America's Got Talent, like that's always fun. Um, and I really like Gotham and The Flash and shows like that. I, I'm sure there's other ones that I enjoy. I watch a lot of Angels Baseball, things like that. Um, but otherwise, you know, then I'm on YouTube, binge watching the Tim Tracker channel. And they started in like, I think it was 2009. So it was it a couple months ago or maybe a month ago or so. I decided, well, I'm gonna go back and just start watching all the old videos. 
So I went all the way back, because they have them all cataloged on there uh, by month and by year. So I went all the way back to 2009, started watching their videos, and now I want to say that my next video is actually their one year anniversary of them starting the channel. So it'll be, it's like September 2010 is what I'm up to. So uh, yeah, my hat's off to them. Uh, thank you to them for putting out the uh, great videos that you guys put out. Uh, my channel was inspired by watching your videos. Uh, so yeah, thank you for that. Uh, so anyways, I'm going to work still. Yay for that. And if you look closely, I don't know if, yeah, our mammoth friend is coming up again. The same mammoth friend that we ran into yesterday up there on the mountain on the left. Like I said, I'm gonna take you guys over to that. It's like the Harupa something or other park and there's dinosaurs. It's fun, they have a really cool uh, like gift shop with all kinds of fun stuff. So yeah, look forward to that. So there's something I was noticing these last uh, three days and then including today on my way to work, basically ever since I've come back from vacation, I realized that I haven't been listening to the radio at all. Like literally dead silence in the car, except when, you know, of course when I'm talking to you, all of you beautiful people. Uh, but other than that, like I haven't been listening to music, which is crazy. Music is a gigantic part of my life. It's extremely important to me. Been in a number of bands um, and I, I just love it. I love music, all kinds, truly all kinds. Uh, so it's kind of funny that these last few days, like I haven't been listening to anything. I don't know why that is. I don't know. I guess sometimes you just need some peace and quiet. I don't know. I've been kind of stressed out because work has been kind of crazy, just kind of getting back into the swing of things. Uh, so I don't know, maybe just the peace and quiet has been helpful to me. I don't really know, honestly. I'm just jib jabbing, jabbering something. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, matter of fact, here's a picture of me in my old band, right here. And here's another one. And one more. And I've actually uh, played some of the music from one of the bands that I was in before, it was called Ghost Stories of the North. Uh, I used one of those songs in a number of my videos just because I can, because, you know, I don't have to worry about copyright issues. <laughs> uh, but if you want to listen to it, um, I, I can't remember offhand which videos I put it in. I know it's in like one of the Disneyland videos that I posted. Uh, it's like right at the beginning of the video, but I can't remember which one. Um, but you can look it up, go to iTunes, look up Ghost Stories of the North. The song is called Better Times. Uh, it was actually recorded by Mike Jimenez, who was the original drummer of the band Rufio, who some of you may know. Uh, and he was also, and or is also, the singer of the band Science Fiction Theater. So, you know, go on and check out that single that we put out. It was a lot of fun. Uh, it was a few years ago now, kind of crazy. It was like two or three years ago we put that out. Wow, time flies. Uh, but then one of my other bands uh, from years ago was called uh, Only for the Night, and I plan to you know put up some of that music eventually in a video. I just haven't been able to do that yet. Uh, the Ghost Story song was a little bit easier just because I could access it on my phone and I do all the editing on my phone. So yeah, the other one isn't on my phone. It's on a CD, I have the CDs, so yeah. If you want one of those CDs, write down in the comments, tell me you want one of those CDs. I only have a few, uh, but if you want one, I'll give you one for free. So write me in the comments. If you want one of those CDs, I'll send you one. Uh, yeah, that'd be fun, right? All right, music. So I was thinking of other places you can connect with me. Uh, if you want to, uh, you can find me on Instagram. And I actually have two Instagrams. One of them is, you know, basically just me, my life, personal stuff, things and such. <laughs> so check that one out. Uh, it's actually Tony Rocky Hara. Uh, Tony underscore Rocky Hara. I'll write it down below. Also put it down in the description. Uh, actually, I think I put it in all the descriptions of all the videos. So that's down in there. Uh, also the other one, uh, it's mainly like my like autograph collection and memorabilia collection, things like that. Uh, that one is TD Collect. T-D-C-O-L-L-E-C-T. -L -L -E I'll write that one down below also. Uh, also, you can find me on Twitter, 
which is again uh, Tony Rocky Hara, no underscore, just Tony Rocky Hara. And then let's see, Snapchat. I don't really use that often. Yeah, I'm still kind of getting into it. I haven't had it that long. I don't know. I just don't ever think about it, honestly. Uh, so that one is like the other Instagram, Tony underscore Rocky Hara. Check it out. And come along for more adventures and whatnot and such. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyways, I'm almost to work. I'm getting there. I'm so happy it's my Friday. I cannot wait to be off the next three days. It's going to be excellent. Um, oh yeah, I was going to say earlier, I, you know, I'm going to that taping on Saturday morning. Maybe a baseball game Saturday evening, potentially. We'll see about that. I'm not really sure. So, you know, stay tuned. And then it might not happen only because I start early on Sunday. So, but potentially, because they're giving out a Ken Griffey Jr. like Hall of Fame bobblehead, and I really would like to get that. So that would be cool, but I don't know how early people are gonna be lining up. It's probably gonna be a madhouse because people love their bobbleheads. I'm not a big bobblehead guy, but if I was gonna get one, this is one that I definitely want. Ken Griffey Jr. was definitely one of those baseball players that when I was a kid, I was a gigantic fan of. Like, I grew up an Angels fan. I've been an Angels fan my entire life. But, you know, then there was other guys around the league that I just enjoyed watching. Like, I had a Ken Griffey Jr. Po bleh, Ken Griffey Jr. poster on my wall. I still actually have the poster, so that's kind of crazy. Um, so, yeah, maybe the bobblehead. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to play that by ear. See how I feel Saturday after I come back from L.A. Yeah. But anyways, I'll talk to you guys soon. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. Uh, thumbs up if you guys like the video. Leave some comments down below. Say hello to me. Uh, yeah, please subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends. Bring them along. There'll be more fun things than me just driving to work, I promise you. Um, I know this is Sights and Bites CA, and this is neither Sights nor Bites, but I'll have them soon, this weekend. <laughs> uh, so anyways, I'll see you guys soon. Uh, again, thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Uh, keep your heads up, stay positive. Peace, guys.